Let's move on then to 1974 and the most successful Lions team of all time. They went to South Africa, but this trip will be remembered not only for the political controversy surrounding the tour, or indeed the infamous 99 call, but also for the quality of the rugby, one of the great packs of any era, and also outstanding performances from the likes of Phil Bennett, JJ Williams and Gareth Edwards. And there was JPR Williams at full back, a rock at full back. Uh, you had um, uh, Mighty Mouse McLaughlin as a prop forward. Uh, you had Willie John and Gordon Brown in the engine room, so to speak. You had Mervyn Davis at number eight. Uh, apart from all the other outstanding players, myself at Scrum Half could bring experience from the 71 to, uh, to the back division. And, and then, of course, outstanding players like Phil Bennett, uh, Ian McGeehan. Uh, you had uh, Andy Irvin st struggling to make the full back position because of JPR Williams, making an outstanding contribution as a winger. Uh, you, you had uh, quite outstanding players uh, it, not even being able to make the, the test side like uh, Tony Neary, um, like Sandy Carmichael. Uh, so the side was full of great individuals and experienced players. We knew that we had the basis of a great side but we knew also that it would take more than that to beat the Springboks. The first test, Newlands in Cape Town. A great roar from the home crowd. The scrummage five yards out from the Lions line. Picked up by Duplessis to Jan Ellis. Good ball for the spring box. Snayman. He drops a goal and it's over. Darby Snayman judged his moment. And the ball sailed between the posts. Bennett has got it he puts his hands to his head it was close but it was good enough and the lions are all square fifteen minutes to go the lions at this moment leading six points to three phil bennett with the chance to put them six points clear he struck it perfectly. That was over from the moment he touched it with his boot. The Newlands crowd really tense. Are they going to witness a Lions victory for the first time here since 1938? Edwards looks for the long drop at goal. He struck it beautifully and it sails through. JPR Williams raises his arms in triumph. Gareth Edwards sports a smile, and that's an all-important score, because it means South Africa now must score at least twice. 12 points to three. Next up, the second test in Pretoria. The Lions played some outstanding rugby, uh, maybe highlighted by some outstanding uh, tries from certain individuals. JJ Williams chasing a long uh, kick over the top uh, from myself, with uh, Phil Bennett, uh, scurrying and darting and sidestepping uh, to score the most dramatic of tries and maybe one which gave me uh, a certain satisfaction uh, a wonderful try from the late Gordon Brown uh, when he came up on the inside and I'm not sure if he shouted to me in Welsh but it sounded awfully like it to pass inside him when he, he, he scored uh, in the second half to make the, uh, the match secure for the Lions it was quite an outstanding experience to to win so comprehensively up on the high belt. South Africa with two new men in the front row, Poseidon Hoot at prop, opposite Fran Cotton, and Dave Fred Fredrickson, the burly hooker, Edwards, rolling for JJ Williams into the 25. It, Williams kicks it on, this could be a try. Williams has scored. That little chip through by Gareth Edwards really caught the Springbok defense by surprise. Williams got his boot as he chipped ahead kicked it through, the bounce went his way, and J.J. Williams has put the Lions ahead. Ian McCallum chasing his own kick, chipping through again, the crowd roar, Phil Bennett in his own 25, running out of defence. Great turn of speed in the jink inside. Bennett to McBride, to Mervyn Davies, to McBride again, to Gordon Brown, Gareth Edwards, to Roger 
Utley, but Utley just knocking the ball forward. But the referee says play on. JJ Williams, where's he come from? Williams, a yard to go, and he scored. What an incredible try for the Lions. And it all stemmed from Phil Bennett, well inside his own 25. Upfield he went, jinking, accelerating. And there was the forward support, McBride and Brown. Utley as well. And eventually to the hands of JJ Williams. And he became the first Lion to score two tries in a test in this century. C certainly the Springboks wasting some valuable possession at times. A long throw over the back. Fed on to Jackie Snayman. Snayman inside to McDonald. Comes back on the line side to Slattery. Slattery with men outside him. Inside beautifully to Phil Bennett. Look at that acceleration. Bennett with Billy Steele. Bennett on his own. Bennett five yards short. He's going to score. Phil Bennett. What a solo effort. The Lions wheel it. Davis takes on Bafel. Mornay a long pass to Bosch. Bosch with Bennett at him. There's Bennett nailing his man and Ian McCallum in desperation. Taken by Gareth Edwards. Edwards five yards short. Gordon Brown's scoring again. The Lions can't believe it. They throw their arms in the air. Real panic in the Springbok camp. 2-0 up. The Lions went on to the third test in Port Elizabeth. 15 minutes gone. Irvin, a chance to level the scores for the Lions. It's long enough, and it's straight enough. It seemed to hang in the air, but it got there, and the Lions are level. Palm by Brown, Edwards just eluding Ellis. McGeekin to Milliken, out to JJ Williams. Williams showing a, a good turn of speed. Flicks it back inside to JPR. Five yards short to JJ Williams again. He's going to score under the post. JJ Williams, the Lions leap in the air. A magnificent try. Less than four minutes to go in this third test match. The Lions almost home in this historic victory. JPR Williams. Running out of defense, feeds Dick Milliken. He's got J.J. Williams. J.J. Williams chipping through. Runs past Chris Pope. It's a race for the line. Will he get the bounce and the pick up? He's got it. J.J. Williams has done it again. And that's it. The Lions leap in the air. They've done it. And there, the man that's led them, the Lions, to this first series win in South Africa since 1896. Willie John McBride being chaired off the field by Bobby Windsor and Gordon Brown. And so on to the last test in Johannesburg. Only one more game to remain unbeaten on the tour. Paul Bafel, the scrum half, replacing Harry Sonicus. This is second test of the series, Bafel's. Oh, and it's a wild pass from Bafel. And the try given to the Lions. And it's Roger Utley, the man with the touchdown. Edwards. Edwards goes blind. He's got Irvin outside. It's, he's over. Irvin, really, that was such a simple try. The crowd come alive once more, knowing South Africa are still within four points of the Lions, wanting to restore some pride to their tarnished image Palm by Frobler, fed on by Ellis. That's Slaybush to Pope. Pope handing off and going for the corner, but he's got to get through John Williams. The feed inside, picked up by Cronier. And the try is awarded. The first try South Africa have scored in this test series. The crowd go wild. The Springboks draw level. Surely one of the most important kicks in his rugby career. The hushed crowd. The kick by Snayman. 
It's straight, it's over. And South Africa go into the lead. 13 points to 10, South Africa lead. What a kick this for young Andy Irvin. He's missed it, he's not. It looked to go left of the post, but it was straight. And the Lions draw level. Uh, the match, of course, ended as a draw, uh, but controversially as a draw, because there is no doubt in my mind that uh, Fergus Slattery scored a, a perfectly legitimate try in the dying seconds of the game, only for the referee Max Bays to disallow it by saying that uh, uh, Fergus hadn't uh, actually grounded the ball. And uh, we could believe that he, it had not been given. 13 points, all the score. Edwards to Bennett. To McGeekin, to Milliken, JPR Williams in the line. Williams still going. Williams cutting his way through. Five yards short to Slattery. Slattery could score. Slattery must be there. They wait the decision of the referee. Slattery surely was over. They can't believe it. I can't believe it. Uh, but anyway, the test series had been won. We were still unbeaten in South Africa, although we would have loved to have won every match. It was not to be.